Ashwagandha has been traditionally used for thousands of years. Ashwagandha is a fantastic herb. It's a gift of Mother Nature. This is a supplement that is going to be consumed by thousands and millions of people around the globe. For upwards of 4,000 years, ashwagandha root has been used in traditional Ayurvedic healing as a rasayan, or life extender, to bolster general health and well-being. Clinical studies are now corroborating the use of ashwagandha root extract to improve mental focus and boost physical performance. In today's fast-paced world, this powerful adaptogen may be just what consumers need. In this edition of the Supply Side Global Experience, we're traveling to India to explore ashwagandha, adaptogen of today. Hi, I'm Heather Granado, and I am here with Chris Killam, the medicine hunter, and we are in Delhi in front of the India Gate. And it seems like a perfect place <laughs> to start our journey here. You know, India is one of the great, great countries in the world. It's also the home to the 5,000-year-old system of Ayurveda, which we're here to learn about. Well, we're going to learn about Ayurveda as well as one of the key botanical ingredients. And that would be ashwagandha. That would be ashwagandha. Ashwagandha, strange word to say, amazing, amazing herb. India has a rich history of medical wisdom that has been gathered today under the acronym of Ayush, Ayurveda, Yoga, Unani, Siddha, and Homeopathy. In fact, the government's Ministry of Ayush is charged with promoting the natural healing systems around the globe. And while yoga has been adopted broadly in the West, it is Ayurveda that has increasing potential to address today's health issues. Derived from the terms Ayu and Veda, it literally means the science of life. At the National Institute of Ayurveda, practitioners treat health issues using a variety of methods, including the active use of botanicals. Perhaps none of these is more lauded than ashwagandha. We have ashwagandha root here, and I know that in the Indian Materia Medica, it only talks about root. And we see some companies adding leaf to root, but would you consider that adulteration? No, it is adulteration. Adulteration, no, 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 pure no, no, and simple. Root means the root is required only for ashwagandha. Right. Because of such active principles are there in the root, rooty part, not in the leaf part. Right. So that uh, root is bitter. Yeah. And leaf is not useful. Well, the root's been used for yeah. 4,000 years, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ashwagandha root extract is used so extensively because of its adaptogenic properties, helping the body come into balance. However, in looking at a path to market, Exorial Biomed, the makers of KSM 66 Ashwagandha, honed in on the four benefits with the strongest history of use and efficacy. So we focus on two benefits for the mind and two benefits for the body. The two benefits for the mind, it helps in reducing stress, anxiety, and stress-related food cravings, which indirectly also helps in weight management. Second, it helps in enhancing memory, focus, and concentration. And two, for the body, it helps in increasing endurance, muscle size, muscle strength, muscle recovery, more useful as a sports nutrition product. And the fourth one is it helps in enhancing sexual function for both men and women, and testosterone in men. KSM 66 has been used in 15 studies to date, with another eight ongoing. The company has invested in research to build the portfolio of safety to bolster its use around the world. We want to continue investing into clinical research further. We have an exciting global study right now that is ongoing, which is on 1,000 subjects spanning across four continents, United States, Europe, Asia. In Asia, it's going in India and Philippines and in Australia. And once this study gets completed, this is going to be a landmark study, you know, perhaps the largest study of any Ayurvedic botanical we have ever seen till date. As the safety and efficacy is established, it's important to turn to the plant itself. 
issues of traceability, identity, and sustainability have taken center stage in the botanicals market. KSM 66 has placed great emphasis on this issue with full vertical integration of the supply chain. We are the only ashwagandha makers in the world that controls the entire supply chain. We have our own farms which are organic certified, we have our own manufacturing facilities, our own R&D center, our own testing facilities and our own distribution. Nothing is outsourced. Exorial Biomed has more than 1,500 acres under organic cultivation in the province of Rajasthan, selected for its optimal climate. Seeds are sown in August, and over the next seven months, the plants will thrive in this semi-arid terrain with almost no water. When the plant's leaves begin to yellow, it indicates the roots are ready to be harvested, the bioactive withanoloid content at its prime level. For the most part, the entire herbal botanical spice industry is hand planting, hand tending, hand harvesting, hand preparation. Mm -hmm. And in the case of ashwagandha, before it can ever be made into an extract, you've got people out here in the field doing hand work for, well, I mean, basically this is what they do for their careers. Right, right. But I think what's really nice, knowing that Exorial owns the fields and is committed to the people here, yeah. that you know, these are people who are involved, yeah. um, who are treated well. So right. they're treated with respect and what they do, the business couldn't operate without it. So, you know, I think that's really important when you're talking about yeah. sustainable, traceable, yeah. is the human element that people right. are treated well. Right, and the, the wonderful thing here, you can see this employs a lot of women. Mm -hmm. Women have less economic opportunity in the world than men consistently. And to have employment opportunity for women, uh, which we see a lot in the herbal trade, is a very positive thing. As the roots are harvested, they are sorted for quality, with larger roots preferred for their higher levels of active compounds. They are then transported to the purpose-built production facilities outside of Hyderabad. facilities were built in a special economic zone for pharmaceutical manufacturing only, speaking to the level of quality and process used. It took Exorial Biomed 14 years of R&D to perfect the green chemistry used for production, with no alcohol or chemical solvents. We saw a root coming in root uh, from clean. the fields, from their own fields. Oh yes, going into the giant bags, right. tested. Right. Once it's released, green means go, tested product comes over to the big container where it gets spray washed. Yes. And then it gets dried. Correct. And then it gets pulverized. Correct. From there, it goes into the slurry production. Where it looks like oatmeal. Yes, multi-tanks. From the tanks, it goes either, either spray drying. Either to spray drying or tray spray drying. drying. And then you have the the sifting. Sifting to make sure you have the particle size. Right. And then into the blending for right. uniformity. Right. Packaging. Where then that goes to testing, testing, and then it gets released, and then it's ready to get sent to customers. Go to market. Exorio has two production facilities. One is dedicated to vegan production and delivers 15 tons per month, while the other, which opened in late 2016, produces 35 tons per month of the full-spectrum, milk-treated ashwagandha root extract. What's happening here is that the ashwagandha uh, the slurry is coming into these tanks and right now the tanks are also filling with milk as well. This is part of a special proprietary extraction process for the non-vegan version of KSM 66. You have a, a line uh, behind me. This is progressive, uh, progressive manufacturing and the milk is coming right in here and if you get in close you can see You've got turning blades here that are stirring the ashwagandha and the water and the milk together. So this is the beginning part of the, the blending process. And at the very end of this, we'll have a concentrate that will then be ready to proceed to drying. Testing is conducted throughout the process, from identity and purity testing when the roots arrive, 
through in-process tests looking at pH and bioactive levels, to final batch approvals confirming exact levels against spec. They're already building what they're referring to as an R&D center of excellence at the older, you can't call it an older facility, yeah, the five-year-old five -year. facility, yeah. uh, to expand their capacity in research into ashwagandha. And what I found really interesting is they have strict allergen control as someone who has a food allergy. Yeah. Uh, allergen control is so important. So what you've got is the first unit is now dedicated vegan production. Entirely, nothing else, and nothing else but vegan. And this unit is actually dedicated to the KSM 66 full spectrum extract. So from the certified organic farms mm -hmm. and the certified organic milk that goes into the non-vegan version, all the way through to product reception here, the cleaning of the product, the inspection, the verification of identity, even though they are growing it themselves and they know what they've got, right. there's all this redundant testing. Yes, which, you know, if you don't test it and you don't write it down, there's a lot of emphasis on GMPs and SOPs at this facility. If you don't do that, you actually don't know that you did it. That dedication to quality and traceability is underscored by the 24 certifications from organic and non-GMO to ISO and GMP that KSM 66 holds. More than 200 people are employed between the two facilities, most of whom come from the pharmaceutical industry. The company's 95% five-year retention rate speaks to the investment in hiring and training, as well as the benefits, including full health care and medical expenses. Whether at the production facility or out at the farms, there is an emphasis on giving back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In the villages near the farms in Kota, nearly 500 students are now attending schools supported by KSM 66, with a medical facility due to open shortly for the people in the area. Including our employees as a part of our family makes them happier, they work better, and that, and that produces the better product. You know, so at the end of the day, it is also benefiting the end consumers because they're getting the best product out of it. This virtuous cycle goes beyond just a single product into a global opportunity. As noted earlier, the government of India is investing in Ayush and Ayurveda. The minister of Ayush commented that herbs like ashwagandha have been used for thousands of years safely. The medical plant like ashwagandha is a powerful plant in Ayurveda and uh, it gives a good immunity to the person that um, he never fell sick if he takes the uh, ashwagandha. And energy is a global need among consumers. In the United States, new research from the Council for Responsible Nutrition found energy is the number two reason consumers take supplements behind only general health and wellness benefits. Now exported to more than 40 countries around the globe, KSM 66 Ashwagandha offers the energy consumers are looking for, whether in traditional supplements or in more innovative delivery forms. Consumers want supplements to be taken out of medicine cabinet into their refrigerator. They want it as a part of their day-to-day -day food and not as, they don't, they don't really want to consume it as pills. and I had discussed was traceability and sustainability right. at the core of everything. So you've got a supply chain that is completely under control right. from the farms, starting with the seeds, you harvest the plants, it goes to the owned production facilities, and everything is, is quality first. Right, right. And what was very heartening to me, because I always pay attention to the people in a company. Mm -hmm. You know, people look upset or angry or annoyed or like I can't wait till it's five mm -hmm. that's a real tell for me yeah. and what we saw even when we were constantly interrupting people harvesting yes. manufacturing they're right in the middle of the job and we barge in there was this great sense of participation and wanting to help and yes. real affection well I think they all feel they're part of a family they're part of an organization that is doing what it can to bring an amazing botanical with health benefits to the world. Right. They're invested in this and the company is invested in them. In schools, in hospitals, 
in educational programs. In medical care? Yeah. Yes. And, and, and they don't actually, they don't boast about it. We had to tease a lot of that stuff out. Yes, it's true. So uh, talking health benefits then, right. that's kind of the number two. You've got a traditional, traditional body of knowledge. Traditional, yes. In the pharmacopoeias, the Indian Materia Medica that give these, you know, it's good for this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. And what KSM 66 has done is they've then engaged in long-term, consistent, and rather expensive science to corroborate those traditional uses. And I think that's really important to talk about, like you have a 4,000 plus year history of safe use of a root extract right. for health benefits of vitality. Right. You know, mental focus, physical vitality. Stress reduction. Right. Right, improved overall energy, stamina, endurance. Correct, so we've yeah. seen the science that's being done corroborate those benefits. Finally, I think we take a look at, we've got the health benefits, and then you've got ultimately an adaptogen for today. The stress that people are under, you've got traffic, you've got <laughs> noise, you've got you know travel, you have work. All of these things really add up to consumers need a solution. Yeah, yeah, and people are under pressure. Mm -hmm. They can't make a career of figuring it all out. Mm -hmm. KSM 66, we know from the clinical science as well as the traditional use for ashwagandha root, provides benefits for stress reduction, for people keeping, you know, keeping people going under mm -hmm. pressure. So it really is for today. And I think that's that white space opportunity, that if yeah. you're a manufacturer and you're looking at you know, developing something that's for younger students who are not interested in pills, they're interested right. in shots. If you're right. looking at geriatric, who are wanting to feel like they used to feel uh -huh. and just aren't anymore and have pill fatigue, maybe they're interested in having <laughs> some way they could just have a powder, they could, or put, a it into their, they could put it into their masala chai. Right. Tastes great with milk. <laughs> Which we've so been drinking a ton We've of. had a lot of chai. Right, right, so right. I think there are so many unique markets that there are these opportunities for manufacturers to really approach and provide solutions yeah. that are clinically validated, that have an ingredient that has safety and efficacy. 4,000 years of safety and efficacy. Exactly, and is now brought to you with all of the traceability and the support of the people on the ground. I think ashwagandha in general, and I think KSM 66 specifically, is about over the next year or two, I think it's really going to pop. I think that even though the KSM has seen rather remarkable growth, I mean, having to make two manufacturing facilities in five years, yes. uh, I don't think we've seen anything yet. I think you're absolutely right. There's so much more to come. Traditional knowledge meets today's production and traceability standards, yielding solutions to global challenges. SupplySide's global experience will continue to take you behind the scenes to set the stage for your own journey of discovery. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Very good.